Hi SQL folks, welcome to another tutorial from SQL Maestros. A few weeks ago, I delivered our popular performance tuning masterclass. It's titled as SQL Server Internals Troubleshooting and Performance Tuning. It's a 40 hour program spread across 10 days, four days each day, which means over two weeks. And we delivered 14 modules. That's right there on the screen for you. It has a lot of depth and a huge wide coverage of SQL Server internals, query tuning, index tuning, concurrency, architecture, extended events, and whatnot. Now, the recordings of this masterclass, the 40-hour program, is available on sqlmaestros.com. So you can log on and access the recordings, or you may join any upcoming masterclass. Just check out the schedule. So either way, you will have access to the content. Now coming back to the demo, the tutorial for today's video, I'm going to talk about SQL Server memory. Where is my memory being consumed? And I'm going to pick up a demo from our master class. It's actually not a predefined demo. So I'm going to open up a few files because during the master class, we had a lot of discussions about SQL Server memory, about the memory usage, the memory consumption. And the motivation behind that discussion is a lot of questions from the participants. And also you see similar questions in forums where people are trying to understand where is the memory being consumed. Now SQL Server high memory usage is a common phenomenon. Now when I say a common phenomenon, we are going to talk about this is not a common problem. SQL Server as a database engine is designed to use as much memory as you give to it. It would love to keep everything in memory because memory is fastest. It is much faster than the disk. So the more memory you give to SQL Server, it's always going to love it. It's going to try to cache everything inside memory, the data pages, the index pages, um, the, um, uh, the, the, of course, the memory usage for threads and it would like to uh, cache all the uh, plans, the execution plans, etc. So the more memory you give it, it's going to consume it. So before you jump to a conclusion, whether SQL Server memory usage is high or there is a low memory notification or whatever, you need to first understand where is the memory being consumed. Once you know where the memory is being consumed, then probably you can figure out whether it is a memory pressure issue, whether it's an internal memory pressure or whether it's an external memory pressure. So all those investigations and conclusions, etc., diagnosing will come later. But first you need to investigate and diagnose where is the memory being consumed? What's happening with your SQL Server memory? All right, so let's dive straight into the demo. I am going to first do something which is okay. This on this one, let's zoom out. I am going to go into the module, which is okay. Module five SQL Server memory internals and troubleshooting. I'm going to go to the extras folder and just open, open the helpers.sql. Now, first things first, we are going to check how much memory is currently being consumed by SQL Server. So let's go and execute this. And you will see right now SQL Server is consuming about 4 GB. Look at the first attribute out there, which is the engine is consuming about 4 GB of memory. Now for the purpose of demo, let's go and restart the instance. Okay, let's go and restart. You know what's going to happen if you restart the instance here. Only for the purpose of demo, we're doing this. This is something that you don't do quite often on production, but yeah. Now we are restarting, which means everything is going to be flushed out. The engine will restart, which means SQL Server memory consumption will go to the bare minimum, which might be just a few hundred MBs. Okay, job done. Restart is done. Let's go and execute this once more. And you will see now the SQL Server memory consumption here exactly is 486 MB, which is about 500 MB. Now this is this is of course uh, a very quiescent SQL Server, no workloads running and SQL Server memory usage is going very nice. Now let's do a few things, okay? So I'm going to open up a new query and we have a table, a big table here in AdventureWorks 2016. That table is called as transactions. So let's just go and select all the records from the transactions table. So select start from 
transaction. Let's, that's what we are going to do. So there are about a few million records here in the transactions table. Now, the moment I fire this select statement, you know what's going to happen, right? All the data pages that are on disk are now going to be brought into the memory. So the memory component here is going to be buffer pool, one of the memory areas of SQL Server where it's going to host all the data pages. So what you will see that this memory consumption now, which is about 500 MB, will steadily rise up. Now, what we're trying to understand here is, okay, memory is rising up, but where is the memory being consumed? We're going to figure that out. Okay, so let's go and execute this statement now. Okay, so the statement is running. We're fetching the data now, millions of records, so thousands of pages. Let's jump to the helper query and let's go and execute this. And you will see the memory consumption by the SQL Server engine, by the SQL Server process is steadily rising up. Look at this now, it's 572 MB. As you keep refreshing multiple times, you will see memory increasing. Now, in the next execution, it is going beyond 600 MB. So all that is happening, okay? Now, you are looking at the total memory consumption, but this memory, the extra memory usage, this memory consumption that you are seeing now is being increasing. How do you come to the conclusion that this is being consumed by the buffer pool? How do you know that? I showed you this query that we ran this in this uh, window and it's eating up uh, memory because the data pages are being loaded into the buffer pool. But how do you know that, right? You're looking at the total memory consumption, which is now more than 700 MB. Okay, let's figure that out. So we're going to open up a new query, all demo from scratch. Okay, nothing predefined. So I'm going to fire a select statement, select star from sys dm underscore os underscore memory clerks let's go there and let's do order by order by pages kb descending so memory clerks will give you the answer where is the memory being consumed that kind of bifurcation you need component wise memory consumption so let's go and execute this the moment you execute this you will see that buffer pool memory consumption here is Wow, about 411 MB. So about 400 MB is being consumed by the buffer pool. And is it increasing steadily? Let's go and execute this. Okay, about 462. So you can see, look at this pages KB there, right? For about 400 MB, now 481. This query, this workload is still running. Millions of records, right? Thousands of pages. So if you keep executing, it's running. Now about 500 MB is being consumed by buffer pool. So you, you're trying to figure out, okay, where is the memory being consumed? Now, if you go back to the client here, you will see that we have been like past two minutes and the query is still running. Okay, let's go back to the clerks. I'm sure you want to figure out and you want to ask questions like, what is this memory clerk, you know, memory nodes? memory com uh, memory uh, counters and 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 what not memory objects there there's there's so many layers when you talk about sql server memory but i'm just trying to give you a hint here that memory clerks will give you the answer where is the memory being consumed so of course if you want more finer details about sql server memory internals and architecture i invite you to access the masterclass recording or join the live class either one will do a lot of good uh, to your sql server learning endeavors okay let's come back to the demo i'm just kind of waiting for this execution to complete uh, still going on okay let's go and check what's the memory consumption now should have gone over a gb now yes it's about 1200 mb right now if you can see the execution Okay, there you go. And I'm going to show you an interesting behavior. So from this window, you can see, okay, SQL Server is eating up a lot of memory, about 1200 MB, more than a GB. I know it's not much, but just for the sake of discussion and demo, let's see, let's say your box is about 2 GB or 3 GB, whatever. And you're seeing a lot of memory being consumed now. Remember when we started off the demo, the memory consumption of SQL Server was just about 500 MB. So a single select statement trying to fetch all the data pages of this transaction table from disk into memory has resulted in more than 800 MB being consumed right now. Okay, so let's go and execute this. Now touching more than 900 MB and in a few seconds, this will be more than a GB probably. Okay, so this is still running. Okay, while this is going on, let me switch back to our masterclass folders here. 
and jump over to the SQL Server architecture scheduling and weights and inside let's go to common weights and resource semaphore. Don't ask me what is all this resource semaphore right now. Let's go back to let's go to demo one and I am going to fire this command file called add clients. Let's just go and check this if this is all set well. Okay, we're going to do that but I'm just waiting for this to complete. Okay, still going on. Wonderful. Let's see the memory consumption now. So let's go and execute this. So we we are trying to come to a conclusion. Okay, more than a GB is being consumed by these databases from this table and we see yeah, rightly slow. So more than a GB. Look at the memory clerk here. It says memory clerk SQL buffer pool. Okay. What's the purpose of this tutorial? The purpose of this demo is SQL Server memory consumption is going high which is fine. It will go high because it is designed to eat up all the memory that you give to it. It would like to cache everything into memory. But then you are trying to figure out and investigate where is all the memory being consumed. Okay, I'm just waiting, just waiting. Okay, still going on. Let's looks like in a few seconds, this is going to be done. Okay, this is done. Good, lovely timing. So now if you see this query execution has completed, 31 million records if you look at the status bar all the pages are in the buffer pool now so if you go and execute this this is the final current state now with about 1.6 gb and let's go and ask the clerks who is eating up all the memory okay okay buffer pool is the answer buffer pool is eating about more than 1.2 gb now let's say some workload comes in and and observe this behavior before i run the workloads buffer pool is eating up about 1.2 GB, which is uh, about that much data, the data and index pages and whatnot are in the buffer pool. Okay, so now let's go and fire a few clients here. They're going to stress SQL Server. We are running some memory intensive workload looks like. Let's go to the helpers and see if the memory consumption is rising up. 1.659, 1.659, 1.7 GB. Is it going up 2 GB? Do you see that suddenly memory consumption has shot up so badly 2.5 GB? Looks like in next execution it is going to go beyond 3 GB and it does 3 GB. Now you might again come to the conclusion that probably those workloads are reading a lot of pages from the disk. Is it the buffer pool? That's the question. That's, this is what we're trying to investigate. Who is eating up all the memory? Okay, SQL Server process is taking up a lot of memory, it's consuming a lot of memory, but where? So answer is, let's go back to the clerks. Now earlier the clerks were saying, okay, SQL Server buffer pool is eating about 1.2 GB. Let's go and execute now. And what you will observe that SQL QE reservations, this is some weird clerk here, is eating up about more than 3 GB. This is the memory consumption, not by the buffer pool, not by anything else, but something to do with the SQL QE reservations clerk. What is this clerk? Is it to do something to do with query execution engine? I don't know, not for this demo, but what you can see here is 3.4 GB is what it's using. But where's the buffer pool gone? Okay, here is the buffer pool. Buffer pool consumption has reduced drastically from 1.2 GB to just about 9 MB. So what I'm going to do now is you have observed where the memory is being consumed. So final conclusion here, if you run this, you will see about 4 GB being consumed. No, now it's not the buffer pool, but it's actually some other clerk for whatever reason. And buffer pool memory has gone down pretty badly. Okay, so let's just go and close this stressful workload before things go really bad and VM hangs up and whatnot. Okay, let's just wait for a second. Now, one interesting behavior that you have seen while I was demoing this is before I ran that workload which stressed SQL Server so much with its memory requirement that SQL Server automatic memory management, the memory manager component of the SQL Server engine actually took 
memory from the buffer pool. It actually flushed out a lot of data pages, probably almost everything from the buffer pool because it needed memory for the query execution that I ran with the help of that batch file. So this is how memory is being consumed, how it's being allocated and deallocated. You are able to see all of that in action. Now, I have closed those workloads. Let's go back to the helper and ask, what's the memory consumption right now? You might expect that now the memory consumption will reduce because we have closed the workloads. Even the earlier execution of the transactions table, that select statement is also gone. But let's go and execute this and see, no, SQL Server process, the engine will keep the memory with itself, even if no one is using it, okay? So the memory is there with SQL Server engine, Let's go and ask the clerk now. You saw about 3.4 GB with this clerk, QE reservations, SQL QE reservations. Now everything is quesigned, no workloads running, everything is gone. Let's go and execute and see what the clerk status is. And you will observe that SQL QE reservations is also gone away. So that was a temporary memory consumption while the workloads were running. And when the workloads were done or terminated or whatever, that memory was released back to the engine. Buffer pool memory is also sitting very nicely at 16 GB well, simply because of course uh, uh, that memory was already flushed out when uh, a workload when the set of workloads came in with that huge memory requirement. Now that 4 GB approximately 4 GB is with the engine ready to be allocated to clerks as and when workloads come in. So just for the purpose of demo, let's go and execute this select statement again. And this is going to attest your knowledge and idea that now this memory here 3884 if you go and execute is going to remain at 3884 because there's a lot of memory available for that select statement simply because you know that that was about a GB we have a lot of memory available and now if you go and of course while this uh, select statement is going on which means again all these pages that were flushed out from memory are being read again from disk into memory, which means now if you go and run the clerk thing again, buffer pool, which is 16 GB should go up, should come right on the top. Should it? Let's go and execute and find it out. There you go. When you see SQL Server buffer pool again coming right on the top. Now again, this clerk, this component of memory is wanting a lot of memory because it is reading pages from disk into memory. All of this is happening automatically, the automatic memory management inside SQL Server. So just for the purpose of this tutorial and demo, I don't want you to go with a lot of uh, questions in your mind. So what was that SQL QE reservation clerk? Well, I ran some workloads that were memory intensive. So the optimizer was trying to reserve a lot of memory in advance to execute those queries. And when SQL Server is reserving memory in advance for the query execution, the clerk that comes into action is SQL QE reservation. Okay, friends, let's go and stop this. And we are done with the tutorial. So just to quickly summarize, memory consumption by SQL Server is not a problem. High memory consumption is probably good because SQL Server is using the memory that you gave it to be used. So don't complain. What you got to do is investigate and find out where is all the memory being consumed? Where is it going? Which clerk, which component is eating up? How much memory? Hope this tutorial was useful and serves as an eye opener and clears up a lot of misconceptions about SQL Server memory. Do put a comment, share this with your friends and uh, colleagues. Hope you liked it. And I will see you soon in another video. Happy sequel. If you like the content, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon so that you're notified on new videos. Most importantly, visit sequelmaestros.com. There's a lot of SQL learning resources out there. Video courses, master classes, lab kits, ebooks, blogs, hands-on labs, and a lot more. Follow us on Twitter at the rate SQL Maestros and myself A underscore Bunsel. Last but not the least, do subscribe to our newsletters. See you soon in another video. Goodbye.